All right, hey guys, what's up? Um, today we're gonna be doing a uh, the B movie. Y'all remember that? Um, came out a while, ago. and I'll post pictures of all the steps because you're gonna need to do a drop shadow, inner shadow, inner glow, bevel, and emboss, and a gradient overlay. And um, just so you guys will see it clearly, I'll post uh, links to pictures for each one of them. But uh, I think it came out pretty real. The trick is you need really, really thick text for it. I use this. I think this already came with the computer because I don't think I would ever download text like this. Um, it's like Hiragino Kaku, some crap like that. Gothic S T N D, Gothic Pro N. I don't even know. Um, anyways, so that text worked good. Just put B movie, and um, here let me let's get to the effects. Alright, so for Drop Shadow, as I said, I'm going to be putting pictures of all this just in case you can't see it. Um, I'll say it out anyways. Opacity 75, angles 110. Oh, the blend modes multiply. Distance is 2, spread is 40, size is 10, noise is 0, contour is just this flat line. And uh, yeah, just pause it if you need any help or just look at the photo. Inner Shadow is going to be... Blend mode, multiply, opacity 20, angle 110, distance 3, choke 10, size 8, contour is just that straight line going up, you ain't got no noise. Um, inner glow is going to be linear burn for your blend mode, opacity is 20, noise is 0. You're going to have this uh, color picker for the color picker, make sure it's about right down right here, boom, that's the color you want to use for that one. Um, all right, good. I didn't skip any colors. All right, so yeah, um, technique softer, source edge, choke zero, size 15, contours. It's gonna be a straight line again. Range is zero, I mean, range is 60, my bad, and jitter zero. Um, bevel and emboss style, inner bevel technique, smooth depth 231, direction is up. Size is 21, soften is 0. Angle, you want to be at 110 degrees. Use global light with the 45 degrees also. Gla uh, gloss contour, just that straight line. Screen as your highlight mode. Opacity, 96. Shadow mode, soft light. Opacity, 60%. Next. And not last, gradient overlay. Uh... Blend mode is normal, opacity is 80%, style is linear, angle is 90 degrees, and the scale is 100%, align with layer. Now, the tricky thing about this is um, none of my presets actually had this one, so what I did, I just clicked on this one, and what you want to get, let's see if I can get into this one. It's a custom one, see? Um, I just clicked on one, like, like this one right here, the orange, it goes to the blue real easy. All you got to do is click the end. This one is going to be more to a red all the way down here. Very, very top. It's going to be a bright orange, almost almost red. Press OK, and then you can press this and drag it down. You're going to get another one. Drag it to about right here. For this one, just give it a little bit lighter. Um, almost the same, just a little bit more up. And uh, right there, press OK. And um, since this one, the one I picked was the blue, I turned the blue over here into a yellow. So I didn't get the brightest yellow, but I got just about the brightest yellow. A little bit, um, not to the very top, but you know what I mean. Uh, press OK. And um, that should be it. That wasn't that hard for me. Um, press OK. And after that, you should have the B movie text. And you can mess around with it and make it say whatever. I don't care. But yeah, so um, that's how you do the B movie text in Photoshop.